Number 71. Based on their positions in the periodic table, rank the following atoms in order of increasing first ionization energy. F, L, I, N, and R, B. All right, so we need to rank these as far as first ionization energy. Remember what ionization energy is. It's the energy needed to remove an electron. So when you remove an electron, that atom becomes a positive charge, a.k.a. it becomes a cation. Okay. Now, first, as in first ionization energy, first just means that you're losing the first electron outside in the valence shell. So you're losing the first electron. As opposed to the second ionization energy, you would be losing the second electron, assuming that you already lost one of them, aka the first ionization energy. But now ionization energy has a trend. There's a trend for periods, so from left to right, and there's a trend for groups up to down. The period trend is as you go from left to right, and I'm just going to put ionization energy as IE. So ionization energy will increase from left to right, so it will go up, which means that all the elements on this side would have a higher ionization energy as opposed to the elements on this side. The group trend, as you go from top to bottom, turns out that ionization energy will decrease, so it will go down. So that means that you'll have more ionization energy in the top part of the periodic table as opposed to getting smaller. And if you want to know why that is, go back to the previous couple of questions. I went into depth about what or why this trend is the way that it is. Now let's just rank them. So I'm going to just circle the atoms that they gave me here. So I have fluorine, I got lithium, which is over here, nitrogen, and rubidium, which is down here. All right, so the first thing is, is that I see that the three out of the four are in the same period, right? Lithium, nitrogen, and fluorine, they're all in the same period. So that's going to be one trend. And I see that rubidium is very, very, very lonely by itself. Now, if we use the group trend, it says that ionization energy will decrease once you go from top to bottom. So this one, rubidium, would have to have the smallest ionization energy. Energy, there's not a lot of energy that's required to lose the first electron. And that makes sense because rubidium is a huge element. The electrons are way farther away from the nucleus. Hence, they have not a strong attraction. So the electrons are like, I'm going to bounce. Bye-bye. So rubidium would have the lowest ionization energy. So we could start our trend because we have to rank for increasing. So that means that the smallest would be on the left side and the largest ionization energy would be on the right side. I'll just put largest. So rubidium starts the ranking. So RB is less than. Now let's figure out who comes next. Well, the trend for the period across a period, ionization increases as you go from left to right. So that means that these have to be the highest, and these over here have to be the lowest. So it makes sense that lithium comes next, and then it just keeps increasing and increasing as you go across that second period. So rubidium would have the lowest, then comes lithium, which is lower than nitrogen, which is lower than oxygen. Oxygen would have the highest first oxidation energy. It would require a lot of effort to get rid of one electron, as opposed to rubidium, who would have the smallest ionization energy. And that's it. Box this answer off. This is how you do your rankings. Um, the only thing that could be a problem is knowing what sign to use, whether you use less than or greater than. But just know that the, I always thought of it as like an alligator. The alligator always chomps down on the bigger person or the bigger number or unit. So here are like the alligator's teeth and they're chopping down on the bigger uh, element in this case. All right. So check this one off. This is the answer to that one. Hopefully this helped guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100. It's pretty awesome to see. Keeps us motivated and we just want to help you guys. So thank you so much for that. 
I will see you guys all in the next question. See you then.